Hello again and a very warm, warm welcome to the Math Zone here at Dane Grove School. I've got a, another very special uh, guest today, it's Mr Langley, so welcome to you. Mm -hmm. um, today's game is called Dead Dice um, and for this game you're going to need a uh, six one to six dice. Okay, now I'm going to ask Mr Langley if you would do the honours and introduce the game for us or how to play it. No problem. So, as uh, Mr. Davis has said, you need your six dice. Um, one player needs to start with all the dice, and obviously he is going to roll, or he or she is going to roll the dice. Now, the key thing is, a six or a one are the two dice that you need to remove, and then the rest of the dice you need to add up, and that is your score. Okay? So, for example, here I've rolled seven, ten... 14, and that will be the score that I record on my side of the scoreboard. You then roll again. If you roll a 1 or a 6, they're the dice that need to be removed. And then you add up your score from the remaining dice. So I've got 4 and a 2, which is 6. And you add that to your tally on the board. As you go further on, you carry on rolling until all the dice are removed. I've got eight more, so I'm going to add that to my score. You keep going until you've rolled either a one or a six on all your dice, and you've no longer got any dice left. It then goes over to the next player, who will try and beat the score that you managed to get to using the dice. Perfect explanation there, uh, Mr. Lang, thank you very much. Would you like to go first or second? I think I'm going to go second, Mr. Davis. Okay, yeah. second, oh, so, scores. get my rolling gloves on. I've got the six dice, I'll roll them. And I've got a one and a six, so I'll remove that. And that leaves me with a four, a three, a three and a two. So I'll add the two threes together to make six. And then add the four to make ten. And add a further two to make twelve. So it's a good chance to look at different strategies how to add up different numbers in the easiest possible way. Okay, I'm in a bit of trouble here because I've just rolled another two sixes. But I have got a four and a three, so that's seven. So I'll add the seven to the twelve and I'll get nineteen. Okay, I still keep going. Another one. Uh, so four, so that makes twenty-three. And another three makes 26. And another four makes 30. And 31, uh, I've got a one, so that's the end of my score of 30. So Mr. Manning, over to you. You're going to try and beat um, 30. 30. Here we go, six dice. Not a good start. <laughs> three, six, three sixes and a one. So I've only got two dice left. I've got a four and a three, which make seven. Not a good start. I've got a six and a two. Add those together, make eight. No, you don't, because there's a six. The there. six. So that's so all right. We we'll take that, that one away. You've only got I've two only got there. Easily two to add to my seven. Things are not looking good. Right. It's <laughs> a one. Would <laughs> you believe it? Okay, so Mr. Langley, you finished on nine. nine. But I think it's only fair to give uh, Mr. Langley a second chance. So we're going to play a slightly different version of the game, where we're going to start at a chosen number, should we go for 50? 50, and this time when we roll the dice we're going to subtract them from 50, um, and the, the, the person who gets to the nearest to zero is going to win, but sixes and ones of course are dead dice. Um, Mr Langley, so go on, yes time. please, yes, okay. uh, I wish you better luck this game. Well, I need some better luck, that's for sure, right. Better start. Six and the one get removed. I've got two fours, a three and a five. So I'm going to add the two fours to make eight. Add the two, the five and the three to make eight. And then I'm going to join those together and make 16. Now, taking 16 away from 50. There we go. Makes four. Four minus one. I'm on 34. Good start, I think. Not 
so good. Two sixes get removed. Four and a three makes seven. If I take that away from my 34, it becomes 20. Move the one, got five left, 27 take away, five, 22. Now to my last dice, it's a two, 22 take away two, 20. That's the three I've rolled, getting nudging, closer now. Yeah, 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 nudging closer to the... To that magic zero. Four more. The 13. I reckon this is a fairly good score. Yeah, actually. I think it is too. Four more. Still going. Down to those single digits. Or nine. Oh, Four still more. going. Another challenge is on. Can you imagine, Mr. Davis? If you could roll a five a now. Five would be incredible. It's a three. Oh, we'll take that. <laughs> Get in there. Down to two. <laughs> Okay, I'm praying for a two, man. Oh, it's a one. But I'll take that though. Yeah, that. I, I've that got to say that's spot. that's well played. So I'm down to number two. Okay, so I've got to try and beat two with my six dice. So I'm rolling away. I've got a six and a one, which is not a great start. But I've got a five, and I've got a three and a two, and that also makes five, so that's ten. And a four is fourteen. So I'm going to start in at 50, I'll take away the 10 first to get 40, and then the 4 to get 36. Again, there's a 6 there, and I've got a 4, a 2, and a 2. So I've got 8. Now I'm going to take away the 6 first to make 30, and then the 2 to give you 28. So again, you've got a really good chance to talk about different strategies for uh, subtraction. But as I'm speaking, two sixes have come up, and that is only just for the three, and I'm now on 25, and I'm in a little bit of trouble here. I've got a two, to make 23. All eyes on the single dice. Uh, the eyes are now about to close. <laughs> just rolled a six. But, um, well done, Mr. Langley, and we'll call that Thank a one-one draw. Thank you very much for coming Terrific. to the Maths Zone. No problem. Really enjoyed Enjoy having you here. Thank you very much.